Here we have a, uh, we've just done a service on a four-speed Falcon BTR transmission. And quite commonly, the hex on the filler, as you can see, has been damaged. Now I'll show you a little trick how to get it off without damaging it or, or needing to use a uh, cold chisel to get it off and damage more things. You can see someone's either used a double hex socket or uh, they've used the wrong socket even. And the hex on the, on the bolt has actually rounded off. The thing to do would be, if you can get a hammer in there, and just give it a bit of a tap. It doesn't matter how hard you can hit it. Well, it does matter so you don't crack the case, but just a little tap and that sometimes helps loosen the thread a little bit. And also it helps to just knock down that damaged uh, bit on the hex there. In this particular case it's 16 mil and I've got a single hex uh, socket and we actually machine that little uh, curved bit or the chamfered bit off the thing so the uh, socket can sit right up against as far as it can go on the bolt head. Now if we were to just try and undo it with this it will work sometimes but I'm not going to risk it because if we damage it anymore it's just a bigger bigger job to get it off. So I'll just show you what I do. I actually get some extensions and I make it wedge right up against the chassis here. Now I can't film and do it so I'll, I'll do it and then I'll show you what I've done. Here you go, I've, with a combination of the little extension bars um, I've managed to find it just so it fits in nice and snug and I'll have to actually just tap that in with the with the hammer and what's hap actually happening is that this uh, cross member here is actually pushing the socket hard up against the the bolt and it'll help um, not allow it to slip off now I'll just tap that in. And there you go, I've tapped it, tapped it in to try and get the, the bar as straight as I can or perpendicular to the, to the head of the bolt as I can and then we just try and lever it. And there you go. You can see it's, it's loosened it quite easily. But if you tried to do it without this support here, sometimes you can do it with a pry bar, you can just tension it up. Um, it's a little bit difficult. It's better if you can actually wedge it in, maybe even with a block of wood or a piece of block of steel or something, just to take up that um, gap in there, just so it's pushing up hard against the, um, the bolt head. Anyway, that's how we're forced to to remove the, the filler plug sometimes. Okay, hope it helps. Thanks for watching.